Hey everybody, welcome to episode 76 of Shampoo and Booze. Um, we are doing another video. We got a great uh, listing from Linda and we want to see your properties. So if you all have properties that you want us to give some advice to, do live on a video, send them to us. So you can send us an email, shampooandbooze at gmail.com. Send us your listing, send us your story, tell us all about yourself. Um, and if you all have comments, please uh, put comments on our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. What do you think? What do you want to hear about? What are you noticing? What makes you laugh? What makes you cry? <laughs> Yes, in design. <laughs> what makes you laugh? What makes you cry in your Airbnb design? You can tell us. So go to our YouTube channel, Shampoo and Booze, or send us an email, shampooandbooze at gmail.com and tell us what you think. So here we are on Linda's listing. She is on the beach in Florida. It looks amazing. Her property looks incredible. Yeah, thanks for for sending us this property as soon as we got it we were like oh yeah I mean I'll say this right away like Linda's design is spot on we're gonna go through the photos and you guys are gonna see like this is a great example of like great design it's it's gorgeous I mean as soon as we looked at it I was like I would stay there a hundred percent oh I mean I'm like there are so many things in her photos that I'm like, oh, I need to do that at my place to make it look better, for sure. So let's take a look at the photos. Now, I am, you know, the red flags for me are going off where it says she has 48 photos. So yeah, that's the that, first thing I saw. That was our, definitely our first uh, comment to each other of like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I try to be as minimal as possible with photos. And we talked about this before, and it's because you cannot assume that everyone's going to look at every single photo. So you really need to like the first 10 ish photos have to have like a majority of the information there. Like you just have to be like, here's the info. And then maybe here's some extra stuff. Yep. But so, uh the my first impression of this is like it's just gorgeous this is clearly the entrance because you can see the like keyless entry pad on the door so right away i'm like i'm in <laughs> yeah it's got this private garden in the front i mean this is yeah this is beautiful gorgeous space love it i mean it's yeah it looks like paradise i mean it, it kind of yeah, it looks like gorgeous, beautiful tropical land. Great photo. I, these nice look photo. like professional photos. Another great photo, great staging. I mean, this is such a good example of like, there are different layers and textures and things going on that are focal points, but I don't feel overwhelmed. There's a lot of um, like blank space on the walls and air space in the room and that lets your eye rest a little bit right um so I just I I feel like there's a good balance of you know little vignettes and design and space yeah I agree it's it's good to have white space on the walls um she's got artwork and she's got those gorgeous um like palm palm frond things happening so that's giving it some color and texture and you know, you might not want those there while you're eating dinner, but for the photo, you're like, that looks great. Now, this photo really stuck out to me. And the reason it stuck out is because there's words on it. Um, at first, I was looking at this and I was like, I can't tell. Like, it's a great photo of the space, but I was really distracted by the words. And then I was talking to Ashley and I was like, oh, I think this is a photo she specifically put on her Instagram feed. Like this is, this is an advertisement photo for somewhere else. Like I'm already in on your listing. I've already clicked on your listing. This is the kind of thing where you, you know, put it on Instagram to advertise. So it's a little distracting to have something like that on Airbnb. 
Yeah. So what it made me think of is it's like almost like a, a realty listing or something like open kitchen, great room concept. It's like, that would be fine for Instagram. Cause it's like, you're trying to reach a wider audience potentially. Um, but it feels like this isn't the place to do that. It's just not the platform. Right. Now, I feel like this photo we've already seen, um, and it feels a little more cluttered than the other photo of the same kind of area. So I feel like this photo can go. Like, we've already seen this section of the room, and this looks cluttered. The okay. design's great. Like, there's great, I love the chairs, I love the plants, I love the fireplace is gorgeous, I want one of those. But I don't, I think this is extra. You don't need this photo. I think another, so if you yourself are looking through your photos and you don't know how to caption it, so this caption here is relaxed vibe. Right. So what that's telling me is there's no information to give in this photo, like, because we've basically already seen this corner in other pictures. So if you're inclination is to just make like a kind of a cutesy caption it means that this picture probably isn't necessary that's a really good point okay this room is gorgeous i love the headboard i love the the blanket the staged blanket looks great i'm like so jealous of your staging <laughs> like oh this looks great um i love the surfboard in the corner it looks nice yeah, I'll, it's I'll, adorable yeah. I mean, although I will say I kind of want a wider photo, like I feel like there is, there's a, um, the bedside tables and a stool in the front where you can sit down and like put your shoes on and stuff, but I can't really see it. So I'm like, Ooh, I need like a wide angle lens here or like use your, you know, iPhone really carefully to do a little bit of a panoramic, like something that gives me a sense of the room. But I see that she cropped out the window because the window was probably blowing out the photo too. So that's tough. I feel like in general, your photos should have as much of the room as possible. Um, and again, this might be an Instagram photo. So again, it's like, what's the venue? What's this platform? This platform is supposed to give you information about a place you're staying. Um, so, yeah. The only other thing I would say about this room is I feel like the box spring under the bed needs a bed skirt. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, I see it's, it's, so the bed is actually not on a frame. The headboard might be screwed to the wall, which is fine. That's totally doable. Um, but then the box spring is the bed, which is also fine because that's just like a platform bed. If you have a super thick mattress, you're fine. It's like no you're, problem. Yeah. But just make yeah. it feel a little bit more polished with a bed skirt. Yep. You could you have know. a bed skirt um, that just tucks under the bed and it's fine. That's mm -hmm. a good, that's a good point. So again, I feel the gorgeous. This looks great. Love it. I love the art, like everything about this. I'm like, yes, times a thousand. I love that the beds are foot to foot. That's super cute. Lo I love it so much. I think again with this room, I feel like I don't see much of this room. Like I see this corner and I, I see there's, okay, the bedside tables I see, but I don't see any other part of this room. I, don't, I, I believe there aren't any other photos of the other side of this room. And I feel like I want a wider angle of it. Again, the bedrooms are the most important part of your space in some ways. So it's like, what else, you know, what else is going on here? Is it connected to a bathroom? Is there, you know, is this actually the corner of a living room? Like, you know, it's like people can take these zoomed in pictures, which look great on their own, but how are they actually connected to the house? Oh my God, this, this house. <laughs> I gorgeous. love this. I just love this so it's much. It's just like, come on. <laughs> I mean, that's a beautiful photo, obviously. Gorgeous. You, you can't no problem. <laughs> you can't get anything cooler than that. Now, it is interesting that she popped out to the pool in the yard, kind of in the middle of showing us the house. So 
I mean, it's hard putting your photos in order. Like I have a, I was looking at my photos the other day and I was like, is this order weird? You know, like it's, it's just tough. Yes. Um, but I do feel a little, it's a little bit jarring to just jump outside because we're going to jump back inside in a second. Well, and again, it's like, okay, so there was a picture with the kitchen that had words on it, which felt a little bit extraneous. And then we had another picture that was like a little nook and cranny picture of the living room, even though we already had seen the living room, dining room, you know. And so again, it's like just how to prioritize what's the most important thing. And I feel like we haven't seen all of the house pictures yet. Right. Like put the most important things. And if you want to go a little nuts on the yard, because you spent a lot of time making the yard beautiful, put those at the end. Like leave those for the people who are like, I want to see every single photo. But for the people <laughs> like me. who- Right. <laughs> and I do too. I mean, I, 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 look, I will do that before I read any description. <laughs> right. But at the same time, give me the, give me the meat in the first 10 to 15 photos. Because, you know, for the people on the go, they're like, I got to book this place. I got to book it for next week. Boom, boom, boom. Looks great. You know? So here is the kitchen um, kind of hangout bar area again. I think I, this photo needs to go in the beginning. I agree. I think this is the best photo. And I love, yeah. I just love it. I think it's great. No problems. It's Beautiful. Cute. I would super rent it a house. second. Like those beams I'm like yes I know but also the way that she uses these pops of green yep so she has this little buffet on the side gorgeous love it um and then there's like a little bit of green above the fridge and then there's like a little bit of green above the stove I mean it's it's just beautiful you know those those are the kinds of layerings that we're talking about and the staging is great. Like, I feel like you have enough cute things in there that are staged and are probably there all the time, but it's not cluttered. Like, I don't feel like, you know, we've seen the, the places that we've reviewed that were like, this is over designed where there's just like too much happening. I don't feel like there's too much happening here. I feel like it's just the right amount. And like you said, the pops of color with the wood and the white and there's a little bit of yellow and orange and gold. It looks great. It looks cozy, it looks comfortable. It does not look cluttered. Okay, Instagram. Like this is an Instagram photo. And also it's, it's kind of extra. Like I also feel like with this photo, I'm sort of like, I don't know where this is. It's gotta be in the living room going out to the patio, but I feel like I haven't really seen that area yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the other effect that this has, the like doing the little nook and cranny pictures, is it makes your place feel artificially big. <laughs> mm, interesting. Like, because I, I know as we go through this, um, these photos, you realize that like this is all basically one room. Gotcha. And the more pictures you show of each nook and cranny, I think can be a little bit false advertising for someone who's like, we have this giant place all to ourselves. And it's like, well, maybe it's just one giant room, <laughs> you know? Right. So it's like how to be realistic with your pictures and not like over, oversell. Yep. I mean, I love this picture for Instagram. I have no problems with it. It's adorable. It's like bright. It's fresh. It feels very cool to me. Um, but I don't feel like it gives me a lot of information. Like you said, it's perfect for Instagram. Like, just keep it on Instagram. That's your advertising. That's your social media. But for your listing, you don't, you don't need this photo. Mm -hmm. Again, we, I feel like we've seen this room before. Like, we've seen this corner. We haven't seen it at this angle, and it's okay. Like, you could pull back and give another view. Like, we're saying that last photo, we're like, where is that? So maybe you need to show those, those spaces better. But then I see the fireplace and I'm like, oh, I've seen this already. Okay. So this is the first time we've seen the entire room and all of the little areas. And I have to say, I could be wrong, but I actually feel like some of the photos have like the room arranged differently. Hmm. And if that's not true, then I'm really confused by the photos. Okay. <laughs> right. So it's sort of like, 
this picture should be like the third picture or something. You know, I want to see the whole space. And this is great. I love this. You know, in some ways, this person isn't hiding anything by having all these different pictures, but you don't want to confuse people by having like several angles and several shots of every little piece. Yeah. Oh my God. Gorgeous. I love this. I love this picture. I want to be here. Yeah. I mean, look at your place. It's amazing. And I think it's okay to do a couple like yeah. beachy outdoor shots. That's fine. Me too. I think this is great. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's good to show the outdoor gardens and stuff, but I think, so we're on photo 16 of 48. Um, you know, there's a lot more to go. So I think you should pare down that outdoor photos just because it's like, you can convey the lush, beautiful front gardens in just a couple photos. Like you don't have to show them over and over again. I think, mm -hmm. I think this is a great photo. So we had a debate about this. Yeah. <laughs> so in some ways I kind of love the quote cards because it lifts out of the reviews what people have said about your place. But then the debate that we had a little bit was for a, a newer rental, this could be really helpful. Like you just, you have a couple of reviews that are kind of like lifted out and people are like, oh, cool. People really enjoy this space, you know? Um, that could be really positive for a newer review. The other thing is this is obviously very good for Instagram or Facebook or those kinds of platforms where people aren't looking at your reviews. But to, if they just are scrolling through your feed, this is a helpful um, advertisement. Right. This belongs on Instagram. Um, you want people on Insta It's It's a great thing to put on Instagram a couple times a month. Totally. I don't think it belongs on your Airbnb listing. Um, people are going to see you have a ton of great reviews. That's why they got to your page. And yeah, this is good advertising, but I, I, I don't think you need to advertise to people on Airbnb. Yeah, like there's an entire elaborate review section and people who are going to read reviews are going to read reviews. And so for me, this feels a little bit like the priority feels a little, it feels a little, uh, you know, it's like an Instagram feed and it's not, you know, if I were like looking at a hotel room, I, I would look at the review section to see what people said. I wouldn't necessarily want it in the list of pictures for a bedroom. Right. Now this photo I thought was interesting because there is a debate I find where some people are like, should I show people in my photos or is it weird or is it cool to be like, check it out. It's like a cozy little place. Um, I think this feels awkward on the site, um, on this listing, because it's, I think it's the only photo with people in it. And what it says to me is that someone got engagement or wedding photos taken while they were staying at your place. And you were like, that's so cute. I'll use it. But, you know, it was like, you know, also perfect for Instagram. You're like, come have your honeymoon, come have your wedding weekend. Totally perfect. But in the listing, you're like, oh, who, who are those people? Are they going to be there? Is that my host? <laughs> you know, I, Absolutely. I think it, it just feels a little staged in a way that makes me question two things. One is like, I'm like, is this a like a hotel developer just owns this property and they're just like staging a photo shoot, you know, do, do actual people really own this place? I mean, I know that somebody does, but it feels staged in that way. Yeah. And then the other thing is, I don't know about you, but I sort of like to just imagine myself in a place. Like sure. there's sort of a reason why realty photos don't have people in them or, you know, people's dogs or, you know, it's like you want to be able to imagine yourself there and right. you don't necessarily want to see all of the people who have been there before. 
Right. So anyway, it just feels a little bit staged. Yeah. So again, I think this goes back, I mean, super cute. The kitchen's awesome, but I don't think we need this photo. Um, we kind of got this when we had the full picture of the kitchen. This is a great photo, um, but I don't think we, like we need a big photo of the bedroom yep. and we haven't gotten that yet. And this feels like it belongs on Instagram again. Mm-hmm. I don't mind this photo, but again, it doesn't tell me oh, a ton. I mean, what it does tell me is it's the other part of the bedroom. The bedroom has this gorgeous window with great window treatments and a cool looking chair. That does help. I feel like that needs to go with the first picture of the bed that's like way up front. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we put it together. We're like, it's that bedroom. It's not yes. a... I think what's funny is she shows the bedroom again and you're like, we already saw that. Is this another bedroom? No, it's not. Of course it's not. But right. someone maybe who's not paying attention. Might think it's a it great is. photo too, in terms of like it, the, it's not all blown out. It's actually really well taken. Yeah. So I would definitely keep that. Don't need this photo. Another classic example of not needing this photo. Don't need this photo. <laughs> I mean, here, here's the thing is like people just, I mean, they love their spaces and they want to give you all of the scenarios in which you would stay at their place. But again, this doesn't give us, the caption says it all. It's like, this isn't helping. Again, Instagram. Great, de great design. I love, love your the design. design. Love your colors. Love your style. Love the vintage school poster from, you know, science class. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It belongs on Instagram only. Again, Instagram. Yeah. Now this is so, this is debatable, right? I love her design. I love this photo. I don't know where this is in your house. Um, I want you to keep this photo. I love the design, everything in it. I'm like, yes, times a thousand. Um, I oh, love everything it? in it. Where, where is it? Jot down your masterpiece novel. You will be inspired. Where? Is this in the living room? Is this in one of the bedrooms? Where is it? We love it. Where is it? I love it. I'm <laughs> stealing everything in this photo. <laughs> okay. So I like this picture. Yeah. I think I'm the in. bathroom's super cute. Although I don't know if you show the shower. I don't think there's a shower picture. Which there should be one. Um, your bathroom looks great. I love the design. I love the mirror. I love the old school Florida look the wainscoting uh, on the wall. It's amazing. Awesome. It's great. I love, I love it. I think this is cute. This is a cute photo to keep. It yep. shows and that it there's shows a the, door lock. Yeah. The sentry or with the pad. I, I, I think this is fine. And, and this could even be earlier on, honestly. Right. Along with this, this is your front. Although I don't really know if you need this photo because you did show us the front before as one of the first photos. Again, like group, maybe group some of the photos together. This is a great photo. I feel like this should be one of the garden entrance outdoor pool photos. I think this mm -hmm. is a better photo than the similar one we saw earlier. Yep. Like these two are so similar. I don't think Just, you need both. Right. It's like choose, choose one. Yeah. I think you need the, the first one was nicer. Mm -hmm. And again, you already showed this basically. It, and I think there are better pictures of this. Right. Again, same thing. So we kind of saw this connected to the house. It's like, can you show this exact scenario with more information earlier on? I love this chair. It's gorgeous. Like this whole situation, I just want to like take a little book nap there. Um, but right. again, it feels a little bit random like we know now looking at the other pictures this is actually right outside of the living room right um but that's great information i would love to know that on a bigger picture right this picture i think is great yes like this should be very early on this should be like boom you walk in you see the living room you see the kitchen maybe you see some of those like details and then this should be like shot 
seven or eight, yeah. you know, after the bedroom or something. Like, I just, I love this. This gives me so much information about how things are laid out and how close the outside is to the inside. Okay, I'm going to go through a couple photos real quick, but like these ones, like we said before, there are too many extra photos. Yeah, like the last, photos. the last four we just went through, I feel like aren't necessary. And this, I mean, Instagram, 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 put that stuff on your Instagram as much as you want. But this stuff is not, it's not telling us enough information. And it's over, it's a little bit overwhelming. You're like, it's too much. Like, I just, I need to see the, the meat of, of where I'm staying. And your place is so gorgeous that you'll sell people on, you know, 15, 16, 20 photos. That's it. So this picture, uh, we had a conversation about, which is the beach looks amazing. And this is a good example of a picture that should have text on it. Right. That says how far away the beach is. You could even have a little uh, generic map that kind of points to your area, not like your exact location. But I have maps like that on mine where I'm like, here's where we are and here's where the such and such is, the lake, the whatever, the river. Because you do not want people to look at this and be like, oh, you can just walk to the beach. Because I read the description and she's four to five miles away from the beach. So you have to drive there, which is fine. Totally but not a problem. But the beach should have text. The beach photo should have some text on it that says the beach is within this mileage. And the description should say very explicitly, the beach is this distance. Yeah. Because here it says, you know, it's known for its miles of, you know, pristine beach, but I don't know how far this is. Is this in the backyard? Right. Again, Instagram, Instagram. Aww. So this, this is obviously adorable, but, and I, I need to go back and look at your description, but this does get confusing for people. It looks like you're, I don't know if this is at your house or at the house that like, do dogs live at this house? And if they do, um, that's, you know, that's got to be explained. I think, I think in Linda's description, she said, we live next door and the dogs might be in the yard. But showing a photo like this is a little bit um, confusing to people, I think. Because you're like, do the dogs live there? Is there going to be dog hair? I'm allergic to dogs, you know? Yeah, and I mean they're adorable. That that dog looks like a cow. <laughs> he does. It's just spotted. It's like totally cow cow print dog. But anyway, um, I think a better picture would be a picture of the dogs in the yard. Um, and this picture actually prompted Ryan and I to read the. Um, listing really thoroughly and figure out like how close are they how you know how so this 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 image prompts a lot of questions for a guest of how close is the casita to the house that you live in and how private is it so this is a good moment to think about drawing a little hand-drawn map of how close the casita is how big the gardens are I mean, I would have no problem staying here. Like, I just right. think it's an amazing, amazing property. But as a guest, say I want to stay there for a week or something, you know, I, I want to have a romantic getaway. Right. I would love to know how private private is. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, if I'm afraid of dogs, right. this would be really intimidating. So it's just uh, that courtesy of letting people know what the lay of the land is and I feel like we've seen this on other listings where it says like this you know the caption says these is these are our welcoming committee so to me that says they live in the house and it also says sometimes that that my hosts live in the house so I get a little bit confused um, with things like this where I'm like wait the dogs are gonna like greet us at the door and so Anything that you can do to clarify, like Ashley said, it's, it would be great 
to if you live next door, which I think is a huge bonus for people because if something goes wrong or they have questions or they want to know information about how did you get this property and like what's the history of it, you live next door. That's amazing. Um, a layout of the property and I also love a layout of the house itself. This is bedroom one, this is bedroom two, this is the living room, this is a shared bathroom. It's, it's simple to either hand draw that or it looks like you have graphic design skills because you're doing those text things for Instagram to do something like that, just so that nobody has any questions. They're just like, this is the layout, this is where I'm staying, and I'm psyched. Up, This property is gorgeous. And thank you so much for sending it to us. We uh, hope this was helpful and kind and funny. <laughs> but we, uh, we just commend you on your design. It looks amazing. It looks like you've just put years of work and love into it. And your reviews are super positive. People clearly love your property. So keep up the good work. Um, and let us know what you think. And let us stay at your place. <laughs> yeah, I would love to come visit. But yeah, I say just tighten up the photos. You're doing amazing on your Instagram, clearly. I can tell that there's a lot of care and a lot of love and a lot of like great design. Like I, when Linda sent this to us, I was like, I want to show this as quick as possible because I feel really inspired by her design and her photos and her just love of her space. So I feel like I, I was even saying to Ashley earlier, I'm like, I kind of want us to do a review of one of my properties just because I want a different set of eyes to be like, that wall looks really blank. Like, well, let's, let's get a little like more color in there. You know, like everybody needs a little bit of a review sometimes. So I feel like that's going to happen. And I'm definitely inspired by the spaces that people are sending us. You can send us your Airbnb or your short-term rental. Uh, our email is shampooandbooze at gmail.com. Leave a comment on YouTube, send us an email, and we'll check it out. Bye. Bye.